Hello, everyone. Suana Shakir, and welcome back to our continued study and practice of A Course in Miracles workbook lessons. And today we are on lesson number six. So I will read the lesson and make some comments. So lesson six. I am upset because I see something that is not there. The exercises with this idea are very similar to the preceding ones. Again, it is necessary to name both the form of upset, anger, fear, worry, depression, and so on, and the perceived source very specifically for any application of the idea. For example, I am angry at blank because I see something that is not there. I am angry at my brother because I see something that is not there. I am angry at the world because I see something that is not there. I am worried about blank because I see something that is not there. I am worried about money because I see something that is not there. I'm worried about illness because I see something that is not there. Those are just examples that I'm putting in. Let's continue reading as to how you're to proceed with the lesson. Today's idea is very useful for application to anything that seems to upset you and can profitably be used throughout the day for that purpose. However, the three or four practice periods, periods which are required should be preceded by a minute or so of mind searching as before and the application of the idea to each upsetting thought uncovered in the search. Again, if you resist applying the idea to some upsetting thoughts more than to others, remind yourself of the two cautions stated in the previous lesson. There are no small upsets. They are all equally disturbing to my peace of mind. And I cannot help this form of upset and let, I'm, no, let me say that again. I cannot keep this form of upset and let the others go. For the purposes of these exercises then, I will regard them all as the same. Again, the lesson is, I am not, I am upset because I see nothing that is not there. Wow, the power of the mind. When you change your mind and look at the world differently, the world changes. And I like the quote from Wayne Dyer as well, that's quite similar. Is uh, He says, change the way you look at things and the things you look at change. I just wanna give a, a little bit of an example in terms of the power of the mind and the power of our thoughts. Again, we are looking at our thoughts here. It, you, know, you know, if we were to look outside, um, and, you know, and it's a cloudy day, you, know, you or, or, or we might find ourselves, um, you know, thinking, yeah, it's a cloudy day and, and, and say or, or feel uh, into, uh, oh, oh, gosh, you know, it's another cloudy day. And, you know, really not feeling very happy about that. And also, there's the other place to be. You could look outside and it's a cloudy day. And you're thinking and remembering that there is sun behind the clouds uh, that will come out again. 
And that shifts the whole way of who you're being or how you feel. Because, you know, it's our mind and our thoughts that cause the effects. And the effects meaning that it, it, you know, our thoughts cause our feelings. And our feelings affect our behavior. And our behavior forgets or um, <laughs> affects our whole life. So, so, for example, if you're feeling like you're a victim of circumstances, uh, laden with problems, um, you know, you're going to be focused on this. It's very energy depleting, for one. And the other is it's very dispiriting. You feel very dispirited about your life. Now, if you see a circumstance or circumstances and you look and you know that there's something possible to create, to create a new thought around it, um, possibly you know, take a new action, you're going to feel inspired. Your energy is going to raise. Even in the, in the unknowing of what is next, you still can feel something internally. It is, it is a whole other shift from being a victim. You're going to learn and continue to experience and understand more that a Course in Miracles says a miracle is a shift in perception. So, you know, as you're beginning with these lessons, um, you know, as you're doing it, it's a step in raising your consciousness. Uh, you begin to, to question the normal way that you look at, at things, that you look at the normal way that you look at life. Again, as I've said, and as it is said, this is a mind training program. You know, we've been trained to think certain ways from, you know, from our, our background, from our school or, you know, education systems, from from religions, from society, from culture, and from family. Um, you know, we look at the world through, through, these, through many, many lenses, and many are not your own, and they do not feel right with you. Because you have not gone into your mind and looked at these upsets, you don't know what, um, what your, your mind is really made of. You're not really looking at what your thoughts are. Again, what your beliefs are and what beliefs you've taken on that were others and are not really yours. Um, there, for example, have been a lot of fears instilled in, in you and us, you or us, and um, through which that we, we view the world. Uh, these again have uh, not, they haven't been examined to the depth that they can be examined. You know, we're, we're not always consciously aware, aware of them. So, the Course of Miracles in the process is going to bring you back to the truth, to your truth, to God. And I'm just saying at this point, be patient with yourself. Um, you know, it, it will take a while. We're only at lesson six. And, and as I said, and I'm going to re be repeating this often, I do this work ongoingly. I'm not always awake to my thoughts. But I've learned over here for me, when I'm out of my peace, there's something up here that I am thinking that is, is not my truth, my belief, and it's causing a feeling here. That's just one little example. So be patient with yourself. As I said, it's going to take a while. And you know, I just acknowledge you for keeping with it and being here again for lesson number six. And as I said, I will be with you through this year. And I'm doing my work as well. And so we have another 300, uh, we're at 359 lessons to go together. So I'll see you 
for lesson number seven next.